Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Arcos 45 Helium 4G. So this is one of two devices that Arcos have in the uh, Helium range. So the 45 is this device with the 4.5 inch screen. There's also a 50 Helium which has a 5 inch screen. The big shout out feature though is the 4G connectivity. It's got a quad core CPU, GPS, micro SD, Android version 4.3, Bluetooth Smart. So here is the official retail packaging. On the back we've got a few uh, details about the specification. So we've got the bands on which it works. We know that it's a 4.5 inch screen. It's got a resolution of 854 by 480. So it's not the highest resolution uh, display that we've seen. Quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor, one gig of RAM, four gig of internal storage with the micro SD option, five megapixel back camera and LED flash, VGA front camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AGPS, FM radio, all your Google services. So let's open this up and show you what you get. Now, one of the big things to consider with this device, which is here, and we'll come back to that in just a second, is the price point. It's gonna be 150 pounds, including VAT, here in the UK. So, it's very good value handset, and that's what Arcos aiming at. So, we have an 1850 milliamp hour battery, so user removable. Included in the box as well, we have a fairly basic set of in-ear headphones, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and inline microphone. We've got a mains adapter with a detachable head here, so USB connection on one end for the USB cable, and then we get provided, in this case, with the three pin UK head that goes onto that adapter for charging the phone. We are also provided with a USB to micro USB cable. So you connect that to the mains adapter for charging the phone or to the phone itself and to a computer for charging that way or of course data transfer to that computer. We get a bit of documentation, so a warranty leaflet, a sort of uh, quick start guide manual here in a variety of little languages. Quite rare to get something like that in the box now. And then we've got a little uh, document here that tells you about the assistance if you need it. And then that is the box contents. So here is the device itself then. So we can see we've got the 4.5 inch display in the center here. We've got quite a thick bezel actually around the edge. And whilst these aren't necessarily physical buttons that you can uh, press and tactile feel, uh, they're sort of soft keys that uh, You've got a back, home and menu button and they'll illuminate when the device is switched on. We've got the Arcos logo down here. It's sort of a soft touch rubber sort of feel uh, to it. At the top we've got the earpiece and the front facing camera as well as the sensors just up here. Don't know if you can catch that in the light. On the bottom we've got a microphone. On the left side we've got the power and volume key. On the top We've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the micro USB connection, rather odd position for it on the top. And then on the right side, absolutely nothing with the exception of a little recess for removing the back cover. On the back, we've got the five megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash, the Arcos logo. We've got the speaker grill, soft touch. If we pull open the back cover, you can obviously remove that. And then inside we've got the SIM card slot and the micro SD memory card slot. And then we've got the battery compartment as well. So let's uh, get this powered on and show you what it's all about. Okay, so here we are with the device powered on. Fairly stock Android experience, a few customizations by Arcos, but nothing to really weigh this device down with unnecessary items or sort of memory consuming bits and pieces. So let's actually go and take a look at the storage. So there's four gig uh, available, of which about one gig is actually available um, to you. It's split internal storage and internal SD card there. So in total, you've got two gig of available storage, which is okay, but you will need to make use of that micro SD memory card slot, which supports cards up to 64 gig in capacity. Now being uh, 
powered by a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. This should be quite powerful. It's got a gig of RAM, so most of your everyday tasks are gonna be performed uh, quite well on here. It's not gonna give you the performance of high-end devices, but then again, you're not paying high-end price on this handset. You've got all of your usual Google services, Play Store, YouTube, Gmail, Maps. So you've got all of that straight out of the box and very easy to use. So taking a look at the camera application then, we've got a five megapixel camera on the back here. Now we can change the shooting modes down here from panorama to video to the standard camera just by pressing on each of these and the shutter button changes accordingly there for video recording. Now there's not a lot of controls in terms of the sort of interface here, but if you press this button here, we've got the settings menu come up and we've got HDR, and then we've got three key settings menu and we can change between the front and rear camera. So if I tap on one here, we get the first set of options, which includes scene mode, store location, so that's for your uh, geotagging, your picture size, your focus mode. If I come out and go back into the second menu, we've got more things such as color effect, saturation, contrast, sharpness. So there's a few uh, options here within the camera, which is nice to see, it gives a little bit more control over the final image results. And you've got that front facing video camera there for selfies or for sort of video calls and things like that. And because this is 4G, you can easily make video calls. So that's just a quick unboxing and overview of the Arcos 45 Helium. We'll have a full review on blog.clove.co.uk in the coming weeks. So until then, thanks for watching.